reason why I haven't filmed anything this week yet is, well, there are actually two reasons. Um, first of all, it was kind of a hard week for me. I was too bummed out to take the camera and do anything. And second of all, nothing really special happened this week. Um, you saw that last week was a very good week. I had some surprises that were positive, that made me happy. And this week, unfortunately, um, it wasn't it wasn't such a good week. The job that I really wanted, I didn't get. And the other one that I could get, I didn't want. <laughs> so it's a pity. I even did a test day yesterday to see if I would like the job because it was something that fell on my lap and I didn't look for it, I didn't, didn't search for it, it was just a recommendation from, from someone else and it wasn't something that I was looking for. So I went to this test day, I gave it a shot, I thought, you know, I'm not gonna say no um, before I know if I would like this type of job or not. So I went and did the test day and I just got to the conclusion that I that's not for me. Anyways, in other news, what um, upset me today too, actually, and the reason why I'm going to have lunch with Daniel now is so that I can tell him that he doesn't know that either um, yet. But I got a call from well, Youth Welfare Services today and they basically just want us to decide until next week if we want to go forward with the process using the report from the social worker from last year because that report is negative. She wrote that she would not recommend us that, that we adopt um, two to three children for Brazil. And I don't know if you remember all that, the, the whole process is a long process, it's kind of confusing, but after that report, we actually went and talked to a psychologist for a couple of times because Youth Welfare Services wanted to hear a second opinion, and this psychologist gave us a positive um, report. And that's actually what Youth Welfare Services used in order to meet to, to uh, make their decision of giving us the approval. So we are going to be approved, but because um, the because we have to send all of these documents in our dossier to Brazil, uh, this report, this negative report from the social worker is also going to be in this dossier. So what she asked me today was, do you prefer to have this, this document in your dossier and risk Brazil, the authorities in Brazil saying no because you have this one negative document in your dossier? Or would you rather um, get a new report and go through the whole study, home study again process for the third time now? And But you would probably have a better chance to get uh, of getting the approval in Brazil if you had a positive report from a social worker. So that's the decision we have to make now, this weekend. We have this weekend to think about it, and I do understand where she's coming from. I do understand uh, her worries, you know. I, I think it's definitely something to consider. Obviously, we, we want to have the best chance that we can get uh, of getting this approval in Brazil, but that means again more time, more costs, and more waiting. And again having to answer all of the questions that we already answered. I just don't know what to think at this point. I haven't told Daniel yet. So we have been growing with this process. It's just it's just a very it, it's I don't know, sometimes I just feel feel like ripping my hair off my head because uh, it's just, it's, it's really agonizing sometimes, you know? But anyways, I just, um, looking forward to 
getting to Daniel soon and telling him this, uh, I don't know how he's going to react. I don't know what we should do after that. Uh, I am probably going to uh, Deutschland, to Germany, to go sh grocery shopping. Since I'm going, I'm going to be right there at the border already, I just thought, you know, why not? for listening to me you guys this is kind of therapeutic it's working all the time I know what you're thinking this is not on our diet <laughs> but today was Starbucks day <laughs> 